Hey guys, it's Liddy here, and today I'm going to be talking about 3D printing face shields and masks for my local hospital. So, let's get started. Alright guys, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed the last video. Um, now, I wasn't sure during that video if this video is going to come before or after. Um, so, it is coming after, obviously. But I have been printing like wild. So, basically, I have... Um, before all this started, my printers weren't doing much. I was ba basically focusing on more sign making. As you guys know, there wasn't a lot of 3D printing videos going on. Uh, but then this um, pandemic hit, and I really wanted to help out my local hospital and everybody that what's going on with what's going on. And so I have been cranking out um, hour after hour using all of my filament that has been sent to me by companies that I've reviewed. Um, that have been sent to me to do other projects. I've just been cranking out um, using all my spools up as much as I can to be printing all of these face shields and face masks. So I'm gonna start first off with the face shields and then we can talk about the masks. So I have been printing lots of face shields more than I have masks and right here as you guys can see there is a lot. Now this is 36 face shields and I have printed these in about two days so I actually was printing probably about 30 or 40 a week before I actually got my new Creality CR10S Pro that my softball coach donated to me to help with production of these face shields. So that printer has been printing very, very much. It actually can print four of these face shields on it at once, so I usually print those at night. And then I can print two each on it throughout the day. And then on my Tarantula Pro and my Flash, I've been printing one each. They take about an, two hours or so, a little bit more than two hours. So when it's done printing one, I just come downstairs, scrape it off, start the print again, and then just walk away and leave it. I've been tuning in these printers for the last week. I did have a little bit of struggle after I cleaned the nozzle out on them. Um, both of the, the Tarantula Pro and the Flash, they just, the prints were really, really bad and crappy quality. So I went on Facebook to get some help and I figured it out. I got new settings for it and now they're printing flawlessly. Also with the um, Creality CR10S Pro, um, all my printers have been printing flawlessly now for the past week and I've just been cranking out more and more hour after hour. I think I've been through probably about four spools of filament already, full spools, and also I've been using my uh, Isle Robotics filament, my little rolls, and I will list down here all of the companies that I've been doing or using filament from. Uh, and again, all these companies sent me this filament a long time ago. I've just, it's all been in boxes and I've just been cranking it out. So this is what the face shields actually look like. Um, they're, these are headbands. Right now, these are what we call headbands. Um, and the plastic sheets hook on these four um, holes here and then uh, you put elastics on the back here and then it goes around your head and there's actually a little part on the bottom that uh, makes the plastic a little bit sturdy. And I am actually the main source for the plastic shield in my community. So what I mean by that is because I have my CNC machine that I built, as you guys know, I have been um, receiving the plastic sheets from one of the main um, main group holder, I guess you would call them, of the group for our state for doing this. And so we get these plastic sheets from Office Depot or Office Max, and they are um, binder covers, that's what they're called. They're just really thin plastic. And so I stack them in 10, and then I put them on my CNC machine, cut them out, and then I get these plastic shields. So what these plastic seal shields look like, are these um, and they have four holes on top, two holes on bottom and the two holes once again are for uh, these um, reinforcers is what they're called and so I will demonstrate how to put one on. So basically you just put one on the, on the back here on this hole and then you just click them in and then on the last one you have to pull a little bit and that's why we use this um, this this plastic because it's not super thick and it but it's not super weak so it will reach and then this is what it basically looks like and then once again the bottom reinforcer goes here so I have been cranking out a bunch of these so what our goal I believe is a thousand five hundred total 
actual headset like whole things and then 500 extra screen extra plastic shields so I am the one who has to cut out all these plastic shields which I love to because my CNC machine does all the work I just have to stack them up in 10 so right back here you can see I have 200 of those plastic sheets I have to cut out so luckily I can cut 10 at a time um, and that makes things go a lot faster but I've just been cranking out these headbands so much and now that I have these three printers working um, it just makes things go a lot faster hopefully I can get my TiVo Tarantula Pro back up working I just have to get a new uh, Raspberry Pi for that and um, I got one but it didn't work so I have to send it back and get a new one and so hopefully that one will get back up and working so then I can print actually a lot more at a time but my goal is about a hundred face shields by April 25th and honestly I think I'm gonna bypass that like very very much um, because I have 36 right here and I've already made I believe 60 so I'm, al I'm almost 100 already uh, but that is what is on the face shields so talking about masks I have unfortunately only made 16 masks now that is a lot uh, that was what I was printing first, and the filament that I'm printing my masks on, or in, is the Polymaker PolySmooth filament. So, um, when I was printing my prosthetic hands and arms for kids in need around the world, uh, Polymaker sent me a lot of rolls of filament, and um, I believe they sent me four rolls of clear, three rolls of black, three rolls of white, and I think that's it. But, I have, like... Four, three boxes of each, almost two boxes of each left. And so that's what I decided to print my masks out of because I have the polishers to go with the Polymaker uh, Polysmooth filament. And if you don't know what the polisher is, I did do a review on it. So you can go check that out on my, uh, on my channel down below. There will be a link. Um, but it vaporizes rubbing alcohol, which Polysmooth is dissolvable in. So it's like, um, it's like when acetone mixes with ABS plastic it smooths the layers so that's what the rubbing alcohol does to the poly smooth filament and it seals up the actual print so it's way better than just printing it in PLA because the masks will be sealed up more and um, less of the bacteria will be able to get in so I have printed 16 masks and so basically my polisher has stopped working um, so I'm getting some replacement parts for it some new nebulizers and polymaker is kindly, kindly sending me another one hopefully that comes sometime soon hopefully mail gets a little faster eventually um, but then I will double production in smoothing those so I have actually stopped printing the masks for now just until my actual polisher shows up in the mail um, and the new parts for it show up so that I can once I start printing the masks I can just put them right in the smoother right away and not have to wait for any time or anything like that so once again I've only printed 16 masks but I have printed about 100, maybe 90 face shields so far. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope you're doing the best you can to help out your community during this COVID-19 pandemic. It's crazy and it really sucks how so many things are shutting down. So many schools are shutting down, sports are canceled. Um, but stay positive, do as much as you can to help. And if you have a 3D printer, get in contact with somebody um, just see if your hospital is accepting them, if you have any extra um, materials, help out as much as you can, donate as much as you can to help everybody that's going through this. It's a very hard time for everybody, but just do as much as you can to help out. I'm doing my best to help out, and I hope you are too. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please let me know down below in the comments. I will respond right away or as soon as possible. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. Bye.